it is in my nature to be a friend of the friendless. Religion is a matter between the man and his maker. Manpower without unity is not a strength unless it is harmonized and united properly, then it becomes a spiritual power. Today we must remove distinctions of high and low, rich and poor, caste or creed. Every citizen of India must remember that he is an Indian and he has every right in this country, but with certain duties. Faith is of no avail in absence of strength. Faith and strength, both are essential to accomplish any great work. Ours is a non-violent war, it is Dharma Yati. There is something unique in this soil, which despite many obstacles, has always remained the abode of great souls. Tell Churchill to save England first before saving India. Caste, community will rapidly disappear. We have to speedily forget all these things. Such boundaries hamper our growth. Non-violence has to be observed in thought, word and deed. The measure of our non-violence will be the measure of our success. The main task before India today is to consolidate herself into a well-knit and united power. It is the prime responsibility of every citizen to feel that his country is free and to defend its freedom as his duty. My only desire is that India should be a good producer and no one should be hungry, shedding tears for food in the country. Even if we lose the wealth of thousands, and our life is sacrificed, we should keep smiling and be cheerful keeping our faith in God and truth. It is only so long as a man can retain the child in him, that life can be free from those dark shadows, which leave inevitable furrows on a MAN-92's forehead. In a domestic government unity and cooperation are essential requisites. Your goodness is impediment in your way, so let your eyes be red with anger and try to fight the injustice with a firm hand. Satyagraha is not a creed for the weak or the cowardly. A war based on Satyagraha is always of two kinds. One is the war we wage against injustice, and the other we fight our one weaknesses. By common endeavor we can raise the country to a new greatness, while a lack of unity will expose us to fresh calamities. We have to shed mutual bickering, shed the difference of being high or low and develop the sense of equality and banish untouchability. We have to restore the conditions of Swaraj prevalent prior to British rule. We have to live like the children of the same father. No distinctions of caste and creed should hamper us. All are the sons and daughters of India. We should all love our country and build our destiny on mutual love and help. The negligence of a few could easily send a ship to the bottom, but it required the wholehearted cooperation of all on board she could be safely brought to port. 
happiness and misery are paper bowls. Don't be afraid of death. Join the nationalist forces, be united. Give work to those who are hungry, food to invalids, forget your quarrels. As Satyagrahis we should always claim and we did that we are always ready to make peace with our adversaries. As a matter of fact we are always eager for peace, and when we found that the door to peace was opened we decided to enter it. Satyagraha is not a creed for the weak or the cowardly, one can take the path of revolution, but the revolution should not give a shock to the society. There is no place for violence in revolution. The war started by Mahatmaji is against two things, the government and secondly against oneself. The former kind of war is closed but the latter shall never cease. It is meant for self-purification. I am blunt and uncultured. To me there is only one answer to this questions. That answer is not that you should shut yourselves in colleges and learn history and mathematics while the country is on fire and everybody is fighting freedom's battle. Your place is by the sight of your countrymen who are fighting the freedom's battle. So long as you do not know how to die it is useless for you to learn how to kill. India will not be benefited by brutal force. If India is to be benefited it will be through non-violence. Two ways of building character, cultivating strength to challenge oppression and tolerate the resultant hardships that give rise to courage and awareness.